you walk down the aisle of this in different version though. <laughs> What if they're like the others? What if Julia? Ah! Hour 2.5 without power. It's cold. <laughs> it's dark. The wife is gone. The cats are scared. <laughs> I've forgotten what hearing other humans' voices is like. <laughs> is this my life now? <laughs> the wind hits the window as I type this message out. Phone is at 43%. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> Should we leave it? The next day. Goodbye. Stop! Stop! Stop throwing fucking snuffles on my child, you frozen fuck! Julian was lurking when I was building the penis. Okay. <gasps> Hold on, I'll be right back. I need to go get Alfred. I'm gonna be back. Hold Don't on, kill me, Derek. Upload or you're homophobic and also racist because Black History Month. Oh, that sounded so fucking racist of me. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Julia is homophobic and racist. Julia, how could you? I just protected you. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I'm not racist. I promise. Oh, God damn it. Oh, the misery. M O T H E R F U C K E R. I was like in high school, probably. I was, you know, angsty. Yeah. Um, it was not my leftovers, it was someone else's. And I really wanted it, but I knew that, you know, I knew I shouldn't take leftovers. It was like pasta, like Alfredo or something. Oh. I think it was Alfredo. And you know how when pasta in a takeout container. <laughs> is in the fridge and it's left over it like hardens right like yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's hard the sauce is hard i flipped it upside down and i dug out like a crater from the bottom and then flipped it back so it looked like nothing was taken <laughs> i literally flipped it over and i dug a crater out and then flipped it back so it like nothing was touched <laughs> <laughs> I was like 16 or 15. <laughs> That's like evil genius though. Yeah.
thought it was nighttime. I was like, why is it so fucking dark in the house? <laughs> you know, you keep surprising. <laughs> Surprise, Shawty! Blow me. Oh my god. <laughs> Royce. It's a shit show up here. <laughs> Chris just threw up, so. <laughs> He drank got, that rubbing it, alcohol. I got fucking nail polish on my lips. Ah, you lose. <laughs> L, 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 L. And then when I freaking loot my grave and Piglet's happy again, Piglet steals all of my armor. Oh, now he's happy. <gasps> oh. Uh. <laughs> Can I get those back or? Is that fucking Mark? Fucking Mark! Did you just teleport to me so I could look at your nipples? Yes. Whoever gets in the boat first gets to stay. Oh, he's a winner! Get in the boat. Oh no. Piglet Jr. Ah! Ah! <laughs> They're twins. I guess I had twins. <laughs> oh, Jason. Get him. <laughs> I was in Athens when like I had a uh, buddy when we went to Reactor. I talked to Brian. I literally was like, please don't stab me. I just forgot I was an imposter. <laughs> I was just listening to Jason and I was so convinced. I forgot I was supposed to kill. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Leonardo da Vinci. Great and real character to wine comes from all the elements, soil to screw cap. For, uh, for the Perrin family, who have just been producing great wines in the south of France for over a century, this is not just philosophy, it's practice. For instance, they never use chemical fertilizers, opting for natural compost produced on their vineyards. And rather than doctoring their vines, they allow naturally occurring nutrients in the soil to enhance the plant's physiology. That's how they get healthy, balanced grapes, the, essential, or sorry, the essence of quality wines with great character. It's that simple. <laughs> Julia the result? Pizza. These wines are balanced, dependable, and subtle. Best experience with food. Yeah, can I just get one glass of shut up and shut your mouth, please? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. 